Good morning, folks. Out here in the garden. Uh, so a few updates. One of the things is we're battling critters. You can see where they've snipped the uh, pepper plants. We found a couple peppers that were actually bit into. Uh, it's not real bad. I mean, most of our plants are okay. Uh, got lots of tomatoes here. We have a lot of deer and rabbits around here. You know, when I go down to the field, I see, you know, two or three rabbits. Uh, we get, we're getting a lot of tomatoes. Mushrooms are good because that shows you your, your soil is, supports mushrooms. So it's uh, some good rotten dirt. Good, good, good for you, good for your plants. I fertilize these things about once a week. You can see the uh, small, the little cherry tomatoes. <clears throat> got some, got some uh, bell peppers. We're getting a lot of peppers. Said so that plant over there. Uh, got snipped last night. You can see the grape tomatoes. Got loads of them. Just picked a bunch of them this morning. Cucumbers. Getting a lot of cucumbers here. This trellis is a way to go. You can build you one or do like I did, repurpose one. Got some... Uh, Stuff growing here. Got some squash over here. There's one there. There's a zucchini over there. This zucchini plant's got some on it. Uh, right there, you can see the zucchini. So. We got us some new beds. Uh, we got these off Amazon. They got a deal growing on them. Uh, or going on, not growing on, but going on. Uh, they're metal. They were easy to they were easy to put together. Uh, but what I did was I put oh that sun's bright, y'all. I put uh, I put these stakes right here and run some wood screws in there that way it kind of passes them to the ground i drove the stakes in probably about six inches i just cut a point on them with an axe but the only thing this one needs now is dirt so this one <clears throat> and i've got to finish this one because there's grass so I put cardboard, cardboard down, and that'll kill the grass, plus the cardboard, it'll rot. And you put, you can just put some debris, sticks, stuff like that. Cause what you wanna do, you wanna build some other stuff up, that way you don't have, have, it, have to buy as much or get as much dirt. So I still gotta put some more sticks in here little little limbs and stuff most of this stuff rotted i get it i get it back there out of the woods um so when i do that when i'm, I'm done with this then i'll then i'll get the mulch i put did the same thing here with a cardboard but then i put i put leaves and then i put this mulch i've got this mulch from having some trees cut it's like hardwood mulch but it rots and it's it's just a great you know great uh, fertilizer it's good for your garden this bed here i've got to put dirt in it but we're not going to plant anything in these probably till next year now we may put a like a winter crop of something here uh but i get all my leaves and stuff I do the cardboard, the leaves. I do the cardboard, the debris out of the woods. Uh, 
and I use this I use this pitchfork here it's my compost right here but I use this pitchfork need a good pitchfork to get the leaves out I get the leaves and there's just a lot of this stuff is fertile as worms in it and stuff it's just old rotted leaves so I'll put them in this cart and I'll take it over there uh, so I've got one full, so I'm gonna do that today, finish it up. I uh, think we're gonna put one or two more raised beds, but I gotta figure out, and I gotta get some repellent. You know, when you watch these YouTube videos, everybody's got a miracle way to keep keep critters out of your garden, but I don't I don't know if you'll be able to keep them all out, but I know there's, there's deer repellent, and I know down on my field down here, uh, it's uh for the for the i know a deer deer has been eating the leaves off of my peach tree so i and they were eating eating one of my blackberry vines the, the thornless blackberry vines they won't mess with your wild blackberries because the thorns you know they don't like the thorns but so i put mothballs put mothballs at my muscadines but this is this is good for your garden so once i get them I'll get them ready. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna finish that today. Then I'll get some dirt. There's a, there's a place not too far from here. You can get bulk, you can get bulk topsoil or, or dirt. Uh, or you can get it at Home Depot. It's like two dollars and something a bag, which ain't bad. So, so we're gonna walk down here. Take y'all along with me. Hey guys, Blade Show's tomorrow. Well, it started today, and you can get online and get your tickets. Uh, you can go ahead and buy them online. You don't have to stand in line. Uh, they email them to you, so I'm waiting on the email. But So anyway, there's that muscadine vine. It's, it's coming on out. See it? See it right here. I'll just take them and kind of help them along, wrap them around it right there so it'll get on out here in the sun I'll probably have to add another post <clears throat> nice cool morning about 8 o'clock see no critters down there so here's a here's another <clears throat> thing I did for the keep the deer from eating and the rabbits from eating the, eating these uh, these are these are thornless those are thornless uh, blackberry vines. They grow slow, man. But ever since I put, ever since I put these mothballs, boy, they stink too. They, uh, they uh, hadn't came over here. I got to get me some more. But nice, cool morning, y'all. I'm gonna try not to make this video too long. Uh, <coughs> but. Here's another muscadine vine. I found this one a couple weeks ago. Went ahead and went ahead and uh, put put some posts up. These T posts right here, they work to do a lot of things. But this ground here is so rocky that you have to get you a digging bar right here. Uh, and there's the there's the post driver. You get you a good shoulder workout. There's there's one of my. There's one of my uh, friendly, friendly rabbits right there. It's funny because there's so much clover and stuff to eat down here. It's, it's funny they eat. They want to eat your, your vegetables. You know, I don't know if you can, keep, you know, actually keep every critter out because there's so many. There's so many around here, deer and stuff. I try to keep the deer down here putting a salt lick out corn out for them and maybe they won't you know come up top of the hill but you can see you can see the leaves are gone off this I put these around here maybe to help scare them away but I got this shepherd's hook and I'm gonna hang a I'm gonna hang a bag of mothballs from it uh, they hadn't ate up there they ain't, they did. I think the tree will be fine uh, so you can see right here the 
this muscadine trellis here that I've planted. You can see it's got a moth balls right here. I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and get me some more, but you see the moth balls right there. But they keep they keep the deer away from this. Deer don't like that smell. I don't like the smell of it either, actually, but the muscadines are doing good. Just gotta get them on up on this trellis here. Uh, they've been they've been doing good. You see, they won't eat these. They won't come around and eat these. Oh, look at there. A blackberry. Yep. Got some over here too growing. I want to get enough, make some cobbers and freeze them. But uh, I also have some more bluebird eggs in this in this box here. I got five boxes total. But yeah, these muscadine vines are doing good. I got to come down here and cut this grass this weekend. Yeah, I sure do. It's, there's one. With well, the idea is to get them growing up and on these trellises. Then the grapes will hang down. It takes a minute. These are all planted. These are all planted vines. Uh, so, you know, it's going to take a minute. It just, it just does. Just have to be patient, patient with it. But I got some blackberries over there. So, yeah, uh, having, having a little bit of an issue with the critters. When you live out like this, see, there's so much clover and stuff. You know, I'm like, why would they even come up to a garden when they got all this green down here? And see, deer and rabbits love the clover. They really do. This is my, this is my, some of my blueberry plants right here. They got a lot of growing to do. But we're going to plant, we're going to plant some more fruit trees. Probably plant another peach tree. This one. This one and this one's an apple, so we're gonna plant one because you get you get about six or seven hours of sun. That sun's right there, so it'll come up. But we're gonna plant a tree there. Uh, probably plant one here, and we'll probably plant one more, maybe right there. I got to keep enough room to come down here and do what I got to do in a vehicle, <clears throat> or may plant one over here. I'm leaving room. I'm leaving room to expand this trellis once these blackberries start, you know, getting on up. This this blackberry vine, this plant, it's it's pretty slow growing. Uh, I mean, it's it's very slow growing. This this one right here is really taking off. And I fertilize all this stuff down here, every bit of it. You can see how beautiful it is, what kind of a morning we got. There's some cows up there. That's my son-in-law and daughter's cows. But yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it takes it takes some extra work to you see all the rocks. This place is covered up with rocks. So we got landscaping material free. Uh, another bird box so yeah uh, I know people garden you know we thought about you know tilling that up making a big old garden but I've always enjoyed the raised beds they're a little easier to manage you can you know you can add 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 raised beds and it gets full sun up here I mean, it probably gets eight hours of sun. I was out here yesterday and it was hot. Man, it was hot. And of course, last night I sweated so much, I was getting leg cramps. Uh, but, so anyway, if you're interested in a raised bed, and I'm not an advertiser for Amazon, but two raised beds, eight by four by one, one foot, you get a two pack on Amazon for 79 bucks. And these things, I mean, they're, they're good and sturdy. I sturdied them up, like I said, putting them stobs in there, and little stakes. I just cut them out of some pressure-treated lumber. Uh, 
but I'm gonna get this one full today and I think we're gonna put another one at the end of this one. Miss Linda wants to put some flowers out here and stuff, so. Uh, but I gotta go get me some repellent. But yep. So yeah, we're, we're we're doing pretty good. That garden right there, it's got some good soil, but I'm constantly having to pick this. I don't know, I don't know how this grass got in here, but I'm having to. I'm gonna have to get it all out after the season. You can see it, it's just it's Bermuda grass, and it's coming from. I guess it was just already in here from seeds, but I spent a lot of time getting it out. That's a new plant. You can see all the great tomatoes. And we picked them peppers this morning. I've already been out here picking. There's your cherry tomatoes. We're getting a lot of tomatoes. That's how we say it down, we say it down south, maters. Maters. We, we grow maters. Look at that big old mater right there. You have to check for bottom rot too. We don't have any. Put Epsom salt. You know, it, poke a little hole or two around the bottom, put some Epsom salt, and that helps, because sometimes it's calcium. Here's, look at there, boy. And these crazy little mushrooms, like, like they, these are, these are not poisonous, but it's a weird little mushroom. But there's the one the deer ate, so I'm gonna get me some repellent. This is this is one of the most handy tools right here you could ever use for a garden. I use this thing all the time. That and a pitchfork. So anyway, I'm up to 17 minutes. I think that's plenty. So, yeah. Y'all have a great day. See some of y'all at Blade Show tomorrow. Like I said, you can get your tickets online. You get on there and put your information in, then they'll email you, they'll email you the tickets. God bless you. Look at there. Let's get out in God's creation, man. It, you'll be better. You'll be better for it. It's just beautiful. We were made to be out in this. So Y'all have a great day. Keep your blade sharp. Keep your head on a swivel. Be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one.